All right, we're going to show you how to make four different types of, of uh, prussic knots here today. And first of all, a few tips about them. First of all, for kind of personal use, one would carry two prussics on you at all times as a, as a rock climber. Secondly, you want to choose a prussic that is of quite a soft rope, like this, this rope here. It's nice and soft and supple, whereas the blue one is not so supple. And you'll find when you wrap it around this rope here, it won't bind so easily. For personal use, use normally use either 5mm or 6mm ropes. And in order to make one of these prussic loops, you need usually 1.5 meters to 1.8 meters in order to make a prussic loop. And they're tied off with a double, double sort of fisherman's knot over here. Note also that you can use them on two ropes or on a single rope, depending on what your situation is. Right, let's go for the standard or normal prussic knot. Okay, to make a normal prussic knot or a standard prussic knot, this is what you do. Take your, your, your loop like that. And we're going to use two ropes in this situation to make it. And remembering that it's a bi-directional kind of prussic. You start off like that. You take the knot and you wind it through itself like that. And when we're using two ropes like this and we've got a nice supple knot, uh, kind of uh, this, this rope here is very nice and soft. You need about three to four wraps. And then pull it through like so. And... Just neaten it up. These, remembering that this rope, these two ropes must come out the center, and that loop comes out on the outside of the rope. And it's bi-directional. You can, it will grip in that direction, and it will also grip in that direction. And the pleasure of these knots is that you can move them when you push them in that direction. Okay, we're going to show you how to make a French prussic, and the French prussic is normally used as a, uh, in an abseil as a dead man's break, and it is normally clipped to the leg loop of a climber's harness. In order to make it, start off with a loop there, wrap it round. I'm going to use three to four wraps here. Keep the wraps nice and neat. We'll neaten it up shortly. And then you take the two loops like that. You clip them together and you make sure that that knot is not in the wrappings like that. Over there. Clip it to a carabiner. And you'll see it grips that direction. And it will also grip in that direction. So it's bi-directional. And easy to move. You simply move with your fingers like that. That's the French pressing. Okay, to make a Clem Heist Prusik, this is how you do it. And personally, I use a Clem Heist mainly for ascending a rope. So this would be going onto the front of my harness and another Clem Heist onto my foot loop in order to ascend the rope what you do you start off with a slightly shorter loop here than the, the than with the French prussic then wrap it round three to four times if it does slip then just take it off and put an extra coil around it then you take the knot side you put it through that loop down like that See it's forming a little bit of a slip knot there, and there you can see it binding, and it is made for one direction. I've made it so that the force will be in that direction, so it's it's a kind of a uni unidirectional prusik. In order to to move it when it's been under load, you'll find it gets very tight there. Simply take the load off, move that slightly. 
loosen it and it will slide perfectly well up the rope. In order to make a Bachmann kind of knot, Bachmann Prusik knot, this is what you do. You take a carabiner and you'll see how the carabiner works in the, in the system later. Clip a loop through there, then wrap the Prusik around the carabiner, running downwards, doing it neatly. Each wrap must be neat and well dressed. is a prusik which is normally used for ascending a rope only. That loop there would go to a carabiner attached to your harness, close that up and it's it's one directional this prusik, it will only take horses in, in a downward uh, angle at this on this one and what you do is this carabiner acts as a, as a handle and it also helps to loosen the prusik so that when you want to move it up you push it up like that and then you apply pressure again like that. 